Well, hey, y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time. Call over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and I reckon it's time for another Sunday cook, y'all. And, guys, what we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to cook y'all up a little bit of uh, wild-caught salmon here, guys. And we're going to be utilizing my Cook's Essential 1,500-watt air fryer, guys. I love this thing. Guys, this is uh, wild-caught Kata salmon, individually wrapped uh, uh, filet portions, guys. And I always read the labels when I'm buying fish, shrimp, or any type of seafood. And I do not buy it if it is not caught and packed in the United States, guys. There's just too much, too much nastiness out there, guys. Along with that, guys, we're going to have uh, some of my uh, potato wedges here that I, I marinated up with a little bit of oil, some parsley, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and uh, a few other spices, some pepper. And, uh, guys, I, I did these overnight for 24 hours, guys, so they could permeate in there real good. Uh, Mama made us up a little house salad here. We got some lettuce, spring onions, carrots, and uh, that should be delightful. And right here, guys, is one of my favorite things, man. I, I, I got me a cucumber and I'm actually been marinating it in some uh, balsamic vinegar and some brown sugar, guys. This is terrific, guys. Um, I went ahead and I actually made uh, made up this uh, honey lemon pepper glaze, guys, and it's just two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, four tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of lemon zest, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of uh, cracked black pepper, guys, and it looks, it's, it, it was so easy to prepare, and uh, looks pretty daggone tasty, too. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my potatoes first. They're going to take the longest, and we're going to get right back with y'all. Okay, guys, okay, guys, our two minutes is up on preheat here, and we got the little whirly bird going there. Should hear a little a uh, beep, beep, beep here in one second. We're going to get our lovely tater wedges on down into the mix here, guys. So just bear with me. Here we go. All right, guys. We got our nice wedges here ready to rock. Look at that, man. Here that sizzle. All right, guys, our first batch is done. Got the little whirly bird going there, and what she's actually doing, she's clearing it out. I forgot to tell you guys, I got in such a daggone hurry that uh, I ran it up to 400 degrees and I set it on 12 minutes just like we did with our our last batch of uh, wedges that we did for y'all um, here let's take a real quick peek look at that guys is that not amazing or what sorry about that y'all I just get so excited and get ahead of myself Okay guys, we're ready to rock. Let's go ahead and get it on into our cooked essential. Wham! All right, first things first, we hit the center button. We'll run it up to 400 degrees. All right guys, now we're gonna set it to 12 minutes and forget it. All right guys, All right, guys, guys I got my races. stove at 350. I went ahead and I got my brown and serve rolls up in there. And uh, guys, I didn't put my, my first batch of taters in there. And as you can see, I think mom's gonna be a little upset. I, I did the same thing. Guys, I can't help it. They're freaking awesome. Uh, I probably ate about 12 of them now, but we got like a minute remaining here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get these in. I'll go ahead and slide them in the oven so I don't snack on them. All right, guys, we got the whirly bird going right there. Should hear the beep, beep, beep here in one second. I've got my little glaze uh, out that I'm going to be glazing with. Guys, I didn't realize that that mustard, uh, that Dijon had like a kick to it. And uh, uh, mom's not really good with spice, so I'm just going to probably just glaze mine. Look at that, guys. Yum, diddly yum. All right, guys. Look at that pot of goodness. And look, that's all the oil that's uh, in there. Look at that. Ain't that something? That much oil right there, just that little tiny bit to... Uh, do up these tater wedges, guys. Ain't that something? I'm, it, I'm in amazement. But uh, go ahead and get a little salt and pepper on these. Or a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. All right, guys. I'll get these back in the oven after my uh, my dinner rolls are done. All right, guys. Let me get my okay, salmon. Okay, guys. We're ready to get started with our salmon. I went ahead and I took some of this uh, butter pan and I sprayed the uh, basket really, really well. The only complaint I'm actually having with this one is, is I'm starting to get a little bit of stickage with it. And I think it was like right after 
I usually I was hand washing it every single time but I put it I, I was pressed for time so I put it in the dishwasher a while back and ever since I put it in there I've had like a little bit of a sticking issue but I can deal with that all right guys so I sprayed it real good with this um, I'm gonna go ahead and get mom's filet in here skin side down and I'm gonna get my filet in here skin side down all right guys now what I'm gonna do with mine is I'm actually going to utilize some of this glaze now on the package it said cook this uh, 325 in the oven for 12 minutes all right guys we're gonna go 10 and I think like every couple of minutes I'm gonna actually glaze mine again mom said she didn't want any glaze on her she just wants the the fresh caught salmon taste all right guys let's go ahead and get her on in here and this is going to be the first time for this as well guys what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, hit the center button here and I'm gonna run it down to, to 325 or whatever increment I have here all right I'm gonna run it to 320 all right guys I'm gonna hit 10 minutes here and I'm gonna check it every two all right guys let's 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 hit it all right guys we're at eight minutes I'm gonna go ahead and get me myself a little bit more glaze on it look at that guys yum diddly yum caught salmon feast over to the table that we uh, we actually air fried in our cooks essential 1500 watt air fryer guys and I think it looks marvelous guys along with that we did up some more of the tater wedges got a little bit of salad and we got some uh, brown and serve rolls and uh, some uh, marinated cucumbers good lord have mercy guys this is gonna be a really good Sunday feast all right, all right guys, guys let's get it up got her got our salmon there got our wedges got some rolls and I got some of that uh, that marinated cucumber guys I love that and I uh, went ahead and I made myself up a little bit of uh, salad with uh, some of this uh, ranch bacon my new favorite oh my god it's good all right guys I reckon mom's getting ready to dive into it here Is it good? Delicious. Yeah. Is it good and flaky. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get after this. Let's let's That's see here. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take just a little bit of this this Dijon, put on here. Dijon. What was it? Uh, honey and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Salmon. We ain't had this in a long time, have we? No. Oh my god. Mmm. That is such a wonderful fish. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you. Mmm. So much flavor. We're gonna have to eat this more often. Now this is a something I'm actually wanting to do out on the grill too, with uh, with a lot of butter. Mm. All right, guys, let's try one of our wedges here. And these turned out marvelous too. Mm. A little bit of cheddar cheese. I put <laughs> I put a little bit of bacon bits on them. Mm. Daggone, they're good. I could eat these just about every day. Mm. All right, guys. I don't know if y'all have ever had like pickled um, pickled cucumbers with um, um, balsamic vinegar, man. I'm here to tell you they're wonderful. Might be kind of weird to look at, but they're delicious. Mm. Holy cow, that's good. All right, guys. Let's get a little bit of our salad here. Mm. 
Mmm. That bacon ranch rocks. Mm-hmm. A little bit of our dinner roll. Man, it's good. I gotta get back after a salmon. Mmm. And this sauce here, or glaze, or whatever you call it. It is magnificent. Mm. Just falling apart. Mm. Well, guys, as you can tell from the quietness, <laughs> everybody's mowing down on this, me and mom. But uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to say thank you so very much for stopping by and, and visiting with me on my Sunday cooks, guys. It, it's such a pleasure to y'all have y'all come into our home and sit down here and eat with me and mom and, and get old Sarge. Ain't that right, boy? Huh? <laughs> you waiting patiently. Well, guys, I just want to say thank you so very much, and I reckon we're going to holler at y'all working Wednesday, y'all. I'm going to get after this. Yum diddly yum. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Bye.